Okay, so update. What started out as a toy declutter has now become a total closet, whole room declutter. There was no space because he has too many clothes in our toddler's closet. Hi guys, I'm Nina. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do videos on motherhood and lifestyle content. And if you have been following along, you guys have seen that I have been decluttering and simplifying lots of spaces in my house. And in today's video, we are going to be decluttering my toddler's closet which has just gotten a little bit out of control. I actually started with decluttering his toys, but then I realized I can't finish or even really declutter his toys until I first go through his clothes and create space in his closet because I want to do like a toy rotation where we get rid of a lot of the toys, but then also the ones that we keep store in the closet and then just take out a few at a time. But there was no room in his closet to store things because he had so many clothes. So that is my goal for today is to go through and make space in his closet in my toddler's room i actually don't have a dresser i have this ikea shelf and then his crib but i decided not to put a dresser just so he would have more room to play i didn't want to add a dresser because i felt like it would just take up more room in the room so we have to really be careful with how we organize his closet because if not we run out of space for his clothes and things and it's not even that we don't have enough space it's that we have too much stuff so that's what we're doing we're gonna go in and go through all of his stuff which is long overdue I'm gonna kind of create a few piles one of things that I'm gonna keep um, one of things that we're going to donate or give away to friends and then a small pile of very select items that are still really good quality that I want to save in case we need it in the future for another child or if it's something that I can use for my second little one. If it's like a neutral color, then I will keep that as well. But I'm going to keep very minimal items because I know that we already have a lot of stuff and I'll kind of keep the stuff for that we're gonna use in the future in a different space other than his closet. Yeah, so let's kind of get started. I'm actually really bad with getting rid of clothes because I feel like they can hold such sentimental value. So I did ask for my hubby to come help me because I feel like he's more level-headed and is way better with actually getting rid of things and saying no to things and helping me let go of things. So if there is something that like was really special or was a really memorable moment and i will keep like maybe two or three things that i can pass along but other than that i know that i need to let go of stuff so we're gonna go through everything right hubs yes <laughs> and it is now a family project as well so let's start decluttering so we have space for the things that we need the problem isn't that we don't have enough space it's that we have too much stuff Right. He's never gonna wear it. Exactly. Okay, so let's do for now this is gonna be our giveaway bin. And then it'll be covered. Or clothes. We'll move stuff over later. And we'll have to put cat and jack, then we can carry it. If it doesn't fit, if it's full of stains, or if he just doesn't wear it because we have a bunch of stuff that he doesn't actually wear. Do you think you want more of these? Do I want more of them? Same. Do you think you can get one more of these? Oh yeah, from Target? Yeah. But like, okay, this is 18 months, but it fits him. Nope. 18 months, I said no. Okay. Because it's going to be too small. Just have a real quick. It shouldn't even be 24 months. It's two t or three T's or above. But this is three T's. This is huge. Okay, okay if it doesn't, if it's like future like 40 and he's not gonna fit in it for like a year then we need to store it somewhere not in here this is 24 months so we're keeping mm -hmm. still not have a size wow he has a lot of clothes cat and jack so 
the biggest mom life hack that I just recently learned is any Cat and Jack clothes you can return at Target. Even if they're used, even if they don't have a tag, no receipt, you can return them and they will give you full price for the item. And then you can just up the size and get Mama. something that you need. So making a pile of returns. Alrighty, so this was completely full before. Literally, these things were overflowing with clothes. I, I wish I would have gotten a better before shot, but we now have all this space, so we have to organize the clothes that we decided to keep and then put it in here in a way that works. And then this is all the toy stuff that's gonna be our next project that's gonna, we're gonna have to go through for our toy declutter. Months. Never or is like painting? Because yeah. we don't put it on. <laughs> These are 24 months. <laughs> Just separate it. I, I, yeah, we can go through this and see like giveaway versus gift to friends versus keep for baby number three. <laughs> Wait, this one? If it's a girl, I don't. then we'll just throw it all the way. Um, I think it's monkeys. What? I think it's great. Oh, actually, I'll keep this a lot of progress. Still have a long way to go, but look at all this giveaway. Oh, mama. Keeping for maybe next baby. Cat and Jack returns and then clothes that are going back into the closet when we finish. Um, yes, let's keep that one just because of the color. We have no other like that color. Oh, he's stepping around the pile. Three feet. Okay. Are you showing them your book? Wow, look at the book. Cheese. A beach. And then they're sleeping. Jay, you want to wear your dino outfit? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Come here. Put your yeah. hands in. Good boy. Do you like hand. this color? Actually, no. This one was cute, but stains. Okay, now we gotta put the feet in. Oh. 
Show him. <laughs> Jaden, look at yourself. Ah, look at the dinosaur. Look in the mirror. Oh, this could be a lily if I ever got someone called. Yeah. What about this? This is three teeth. So if I could affect. This one, yes, right? You like this sweater? Do you like this one? Yeah, let's do it. Do you like this one? I have to get that one. This one? He's going to scare you, Juju. This one? Yes. Really? It's from Palm Island. Yeah, it has. So our giveaway pile is full. I still have a few more things I want to go through clothes-wise. And then we're going to take this to the garage to bring to Goodwill and friends. Isn't this not the cutest little pantsuit from H&M? We got it for a wedding we went to with our toddler and it still fits him. So we're definitely going to keep it. But I thought it was just so cute. We did it with a white shirt and a little bow tie and little kids dressed up in cute outfits it's like my favorite thing okay so we're getting down to the last little bit we have so many empty hangers already which i think is a great sign that we really did go through it and we're selective with what we decided to keep we have just a few little things left and then i'll start putting it back in the closet so after going through a bunch of these clothes, I decided that I am going on Amazon right now and I'm purchasing the best rated stain remover because so many of our toddler clothes have stains that did not come out. And I feel like that's something that I've struggled with is really taking care of the items that he does have just because he's always making messes, always putting outside, painting, drawing markers, like his clothes always get dirty. So it is beyond time that I invest in a good stain remover. And hopefully that will help us to take better care of his clothes moving forward. I'm going through and taking out all the jackets to put in the closet first. And as I separate clothes into like categories, I'll see if we have too many items of something like, I'm already feeling like we have too many jackets, but we're living in Florida and being in the sunshine, we probably don't need this many, but let me pull out and see what we have. And then I'll take out if we have too much. Okay, so, I see we have three rain jackets, so I'm going to get rid of one of them. This one, going to small on him soon anyways. Alright, this seems like a good amount. So jackets, we use the least amount, if that's the correct wording. So I'm going to put them in the corner where it's harder to reach them. And I'm going to put the winter ones more towards the back since it's going to be summer. And then the rain coats more towards the front since it'll be easier to reach and we'll be using those more often. So these are my little jacket section. I have the raincoats in the front, the winter coats in the back. It's towards the back of the closet, but it's still within reach so I can get them when I need them. And then when it's winter time, I'll rotate and I'll put these towards the front of the closet. And then whatever summer items will go towards the back. Let's do t-shirts next. So I'm gonna go through my heat pile and take out the t-shirts. And I'm gonna do the same thing. If I have too many of one type of t-shirt, then I will get rid of it. Oh, is that all good? Mm -hmm. Let's see what we need first. Long sleeve is going to go separate from short sleeve, so I'm making a long sleeve pile and then a short sleeve.
we have t-shirt wise that we are keeping i think i might color coat them i'm gonna put them up and see how it looks so Hello. before i had a lot of stuff folded on the shelves but the problem with folding is like when you grab one they all just become unfolded so quickly especially if you're in a hurry or you're trying to find like a particular item so now that we have a less item i think it's much more efficient to hang them rather than folding them and worrying about yeah and worrying about the mess of that so i'm putting all these pajamas in this clear bin that i got on amazon they also have them at walmart and i'm gonna put every pajama set together so it's easy to grab the set versus like going through and looking for a top of bottom and creating a mess every time you go to the This is how I'm organizing his shirts. So these are all his t-shirts. I did my best to organize it by color. Hopefully I did that correctly. And then on this side, I have his nice shirts, which means that they have a collar. These are usually the ones that I'll reach for like if we're going to church. Behind that, I have his long sleeve shirts organized by color. And then behind that, it says raincoats and his winter shirts winter long sleeves so hopefully this stays nice and organized and I feel like there's so much more space already it makes me happy so this is how I decided to organize his pants so we have one with his like sweatpants joggers one with his jeans and nice pants, and then one with shorts that are mainly for like outdoor play. I got these from Target. They were super cheap. I think they were like less than $10 each, but they work really well for organizing. And I like that they have the open front so you can see what's going in there. As you can see we kind of have minimal pants. I feel like we still have probably a little too many of nice pants or jeans, but it's a good start from what we had before that we were able to minimize everything to these three little containers like i said we have the pajamas here we have his swim suits here these are the shirts that we decided to keep that were color-coded and the rest of his clothing items so this is it these are all the clothes that we have for our toddler these are all of the items that we are saying goodbye to and we will not miss them and we are going to try our best to maintain the space i think with every house area or space it's important to have some sort of system that's easy to maintain so to me this feels really easy maintain to maintain that every time i fold his clothes the shirts go here the pants go here it seems very simple and i think that's the goal when it comes to this whole decluttering and minimizing that I've been doing is I just want to simplify my life and really I think the less things that we have to go through and organize and clean and maintain and keep up with it saves us not only time but energy that can be going towards other things like our family and time together and doing activities that we really enjoy versus just spending that time cleaning and trying to keep up with our day-to-day -day things so I am happy with this how this project turned out and next up we are going to tackle our toys now that we have 
space in the closet where we have areas that the toys can go into. That is going to be my next project is going through all of our toys, which is going to be a huge project. So if you're interested, make sure that you subscribe if you're not already. Thank you guys so much for watching and following along in my videos. Let me know what you guys want to see next and I will see you in my next video.